today I am going to show you how you can take almost any countertop and create your own custom high gloss marble finish. So I've already done the first couple of steps on these countertops and sealed one of them and I'm about to seal this countertop behind me but I wanted to walk y'all through the steps that I took to change this from the brown style stone that it was before to this marble finish that it is now. Here's everything that you will need to complete this look. I started off with a primer and I used the Zinsser Bullseye 123 primer for all surfaces. It has a dry time of 30 minutes which is also when you can go ahead and apply your second coat. For the paint, I used the Benjamin Moore Premium Interior Paint. This is in an eggshell finish, although the finish doesn't make too much of a difference since we are applying a high gloss top coat. My top coat is the Fama Wood Glaze Coat. It is the crystal clear high gloss finish. This is the one gallon box, and for my kitchen, so far I've used a box and a half, so this would be my third box. And I think three bobs will be just enough to finish this kitchen. For the painting, I have my paint roller and my roller covers. And these are the two roller covers. I have the foam mini rollers and the, the high density knit rollers. I also like to use these plastic drop cloths. They're super inexpensive. And if you get some painter's tape, you can just go ahead and tape them along the bottom of the cabinets. You'll want to have some sort of thicker paintbrush in order to do the veining, which I will show y'all in a second. A blow dryer to blow out bubbles, and these are bucket liners, and I use these to mix the top coat because it is very hard to clean out, and I just want to be able to throw these away when I am done. All right, so the first step is to tape off your countertops. You want to line your countertops with drop cloth, that way you can protect the cabinets and the floors underneath because the top coat that we use is meant to drip off the sides of the countertop and if it gets on your floor it is very hard to get up. You also want to put a row of tape up against your backsplash so that you don't get any paint or top coat on there as well and also around any appliances that you have um, cover your ovens dishwasher put some tape around your sink and cover it because you don't want to get any top coat or paint in that as well. The second step is to sand all of your countertops. So depending on the countertops you have, the sanding might not actually scup up the surface, but it is guaranteed to get rid of all of the dirt. So the countertops that we had was obviously way stronger than any sandpaper, but it made sure that it was extra clean and there was no debris left on it for when we applied the primer. Once you sand, you wanna wipe off the countertop really well, make sure there's no dust, dirt, anything left over, and then you wanna start priming. For priming and painting, a roller isn't required, but I definitely highly recommend it. It guarantees a smooth finish and no brush strokes. You can either use a foam cover or a nap cover. Either of them will provide a very smooth finish. So I applied about two coats of my primer because I wanted a white and gray marble. My primer was white and my paint was also white, so I didn't need to use as much paint. But I applied two coats of my primer and then started on painting. I used Benjamin Moore's premium interior paint. Um, I know they sell it at Benjamin Moore stores and at Ace Hardware, although any paint will do since the top coat that we're using is really resilient. The odds of the paint chipping off are very little. So any, if you could get, if you have white paint, white interior paint, you can go ahead and use that. Otherwise, a, I'd say, depending on the size of your kitchen, you can either get a quart or a gallon. So once you have your two coats of primer and your two coats of paint on there, you wanna let those dry really well for a couple of hours, and then you will go on to your marbling. Some tips for when you're planning out the veining on your countertops is to one, look on the internet and try to pull up pictures of marble countertops you like, so you have an idea of what type of veining you wanna do. Also, for the most part, when it comes to marble countertops, the veining typically flows in one direction. So for this room, I wanted to come from the front corner of the room to the back. So on each of the countertop pieces, even though it's not all directly diagonal, the veins typically all come from one, from the same area. Another way to make the countertops look more realistic is to extend the veining over the countertops. So if you have it going this way across and then you get to the edge, just extend it down a little bit, that way it looks like one cohesive piece of stone and it'll be a lot harder for them to know that you really painted it. Because from first glance, these look just like marble countertops and I am no artist. So if I can do it, you can do it. I promise. 
super easy, super fun. So I already painted these countertops, but I did it before we installed the sink. So I will also show y'all how to fix up some mistakes in the paint if you happen to use the countertops before you have a time to seal them. When we were installing the sink, we had to, you know, put it on the counter and move it around. So some of the paint got scratched up. And I just wanna show y'all how I fixed that. So I have some sandpaper right here on a little sanding block. And I just wanna sand the edges down so when I put more paint on top of it, it blends smoothly. And then here's the paint I used. And the goal here is to not get it on the veining. So I'm just trying to fix the white spots So for the marbling, you will need some crafts paint. This is one of the 95 cent bottles they sell at Home Depot, so it's not anything special. I got three different shades of gray because I didn't know which one I wanted, and I settled with slate gray. So I used slate gray to do the veining on here, and I will show y'all how to do that. So the main, the main trick to this is keeping your paint wet and using a loose hand. So I am gonna work on extending this line right here. Since I just painted over it, I kind of wanna add another vein to this. So I am going to dip my brush in the paint and then with a loose hand and a rolling motion, just drag it along. And I want it to connect with this one, so I'm not gonna do too long of a line at once, that way it doesn't dry, but I'll take this, spray it with my water, and then using the paintbrush, I'm gonna feather this out. And then I like to keep wiping off this brush just so the water is not all the way on it. And you can dab up some of the water and some of the paint. And then once you like how it looks, you can either let it dry. I like to dab up some of the excess paint. But yes, this is how you do the veining. Once the veining is on, comes the exciting part, which is applying the top coat. So for this specific top coat, you need a one-to-one -one ratio of part A and part B. So this measuring cup has been sacrificed for the cause. I like using it because I can tell exactly um, how much I'm putting in here. So. For this size, I'm doing three cups of each, and then I'll be pouring it into the bucket and mixing it. And 
It says to mix it for six to seven minutes. So you mix it for six to seven minutes, then pour it in the next bucket and then mix it again. So let's get started. Additionally, you'll want either a blowtorch or I use this mini hair dryer, and this will help get the bubbles out. After about 20 minutes, remove the plastic tarp and the tape from your counter because if you wait too long, when you try to remove it, it might pull up some of the top coat. Also make sure to check under the edge of the counters for drips and you can scrub those off with your putty knife or if they're already set in, you can sand them down with some sandpaper. The top coat is definitely the longest step. It needs three days to cure, but yeah, very easy process. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now these models wait on me for Baby, days. tell me why your heart's so cold. Can't say. Can't wait, I ain't got all day now. Time is money, watch my face, don't show it, change me now. I ain't got nothing to say, but just hit me out. Cause it seems that you like this. Okay, so all of the top coat is on the table. Now I'm gonna take this little blow dryer and pop all the bubbles. That is it for today's video. If you like the result, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content just like this. Also hit that bell icon so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you try this DIY out for yourself, please tag me on Instagram at Rachel White Life so I can see it and share it with everyone. I hope you'll have a great day. Bye.